Okay, let's look at question four. So question four says crude oil is heated in a vertical cylindrical tower to separate and extract products such as petroleum gas, gasoline, kerosene, diesel, industrial oil, and paraffin wax, which boil at different temperatures. Okay, so then they give us this picture um, and they show us the temperatures at which each of those products boils at. And then they show us just the diagram of the cylindrical tower, right? So we're probably going to have to look at temperature and a bit of volume, but let's just do one thing at a time. So extraction occurs because different liquids have different boiling points, okay? Extraction takes place in a large vertical cylinder tower, the diameter is six meters, and the total surface area of the sections A and B, so that's, I mean, sorry, A and C, those two there, is that. So we know if we're going to work out the surface area, we're probably going to have to work out B and then add A and C, right? So just, that's the kind of, like, you don't have to spend lots of time looking at it, but that's the kind of inside you should be drawing out as you read through the question. Then it says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Identify the crude oil product that will be third to boil. Okay, so remember with boiling, the lowest one is boiling first. So petroleum gas will be first, then gasoline, then kerosene, right? And the one that will be last is paraffin wax, right? So just note that you're going to be working this way and not the other way around. So it's going to be kerosene will be our answer for 4.1.1. Kerosene, you can also say um, lamp oil if you want, but either indicates the same thing. Okay, write down the product extracted at 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, so 20 degrees Celsius is petroleum, then 150 degrees Celsius is gasoline. Okay, so that's what it will be. It will be gasoline or petrol. You can write either. I'm just going to write gasoline because they call it in America. That's why I call it gas. Okay. 4.1.3. Convert the boiling point of diesel. Okay. Two degrees Fahrenheit using this formula. Okay, so diesel, the boiling point of diesel is going to be 300 degrees Celsius, right? And so we're going to put that into the Celsius over here, and then we have to find out the Fahrenheit over there, okay? So we're going to say 300 equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1,8. Now, these are the ones that students sometimes find a bit difficult to unwind, but what you need to do is you do the opposite operations, right? So we want to get this F by itself. So we're going to times this side by 1,8, and what we do to the one side, we have to do to the other. Okay, so that's going to give me this because those two cancel. Um, let me get my calculator. 300 times 1 comma 8 is going to be 540. Okay, now we're going to get rid of the negative 32. So we're going to plus 32. We have to do to the other side what we do to the first side. And then Fahrenheit is going to be 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so big thing here is opposite operations, knowing that these are my opposite operations, very important. Um, some students really struggle with that. These are the sort of questions you just need to practice. Okay, let's do the last question for this question, uh, for this video. Um, so this one is a bit of a bigger one, seven marks, so we're going to have to work quite methodically. That's fine, we'll just go about it slowly. The pipes leading in and out of the vertical cylindrical tower take up 2,5 percent of the surface area of part b okay so we know that when we work out the surface area of part b we have to subtract off 2,5 percent because that's for the pipes um, of a cylindrical tower calculate the total surface area of the vertical cylindrical tower excluding the area taken up by the pipes okay so they've also given us this formula so it says 3,142 remember use that and not pi Right, we don't use pi when they give us this. Diameter and the height. Okay, so let's work it out. Let's work out B. Surface area of B. Okay, there's B there. So its diameter is 6. So we're going to say 3, 142. Its diameter is 6. And its height is 54. Plug that into your calculator. Make sure you type it in correctly. Everything is in meters, so just be careful to note that. 
meters squared because it's area. Okay, but now we have to subtract off 2,5%. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, what is 2,5%? Let me just make sure you can see here. What is the 2,5% of this number? So you're just going to pop it in there. 2,5 shift percent. 2,5,4,5,0,2. Okay, so that's meters squared. And then we need to say, okay, well, we need to subtract that off of this, right? So that's quite important. So this is basically the area of the pipes, which we need to take off. So we're going to do that. So we're going to say 1018. Do you see how I'm not rounding off? Very important. You only do that at the end. So that is the area, surface area of section B. But once the whole cylindrical pipes, now I need to add in what is the surface area of A and C. Okay, so we have to add that in. So we're going to say 992,5578. Okay, and we're going to add in our 150,816. Okay, make sure you put that in correctly. So that's basically the surface area of B, and that's the surface area of A and C, just so that you can follow. Pop that into your calculator. Make sure you type it in correctly. I say as I type it in incorrectly. And that's 1143,3738 meters squared. And then what you can do is you can round that off to two decimal places if you want. So you can put it like that. Remember when we're rounding off to two decimal places, we look at the third one. That is less than five. So it's just going to be like this. Okay. So a lot of parts there, but if you just work through it methodically, read the question, easy enough to get. Okay. Let's move on to the next question of question four.